All right, today we're in Uptown Westerville. I'm Craig Walser with Keller Williams and the Walser Realty Group. We love Westerville, we actually live in Westerville. With its many locally owned shops and restaurants, it's got fantastic community events like Fourth Friday and an extraordinary community center. This neighborhood does really have a sense of community, but there are a couple of things that are just a little weird. Westerville's biggest attraction has a wonderful little historic area uh, with shops, locally owned restaurants, uh, brick sidewalks, it's really cute. Now, most areas would call this a downtown area, but Westville calls it uptown Westerville. So if you call it downtown, people are going to know you're not from there. <laughs> anyway, it's, uh, no one can tell me why that is, but it's just kind of weird. Now, Westerville School District is generally well regarded, earning an A- on niche.com. It's fairly big. It's got three high schools, four middle schools, and 15 elementary schools. The high schools are North, Central, and South. But, Craig, that's not really weird, is it? No. The weird thing is that Central High School is north of North High School. Why they named it that, I don't know, but it was built after North High School was already there. So we're, <laughs> no one's quite sure, but it certainly is weird. Back in 1893, Westerville was home to the anti Saloon League. This was an organization largely influential in the temperance movement of the time. This temperance movement eventually led to prohibition in the U.S. And besides a short time after prohibition's uh, repeal, Westville's been a dry town. It wasn't until 2004 that an uptown business was issued a liquor license. 2004, that's not even 20 years ago. That's just weird. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of weird, wonderful Westerville. I'm Craig Ballster with Ballster Realty Group and Keller Williams Excel. Till next time.